Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet Zoo. My name is Nisse and today we're gonna take a look at yet another mod. And today it's gonna be the Cy Cyrus <laughs> Crane. Yeah, uh, so it is a crane, therefore uh, automatically uh, related to the red crown crane we have over here. And it is one of the many many crane mods we got out there after the newest uh, DLC which was the Woodlands uh, where we of course got the red crown crane so let's just jump right into Zoopedia and see what it have to offer uh, it is vulnerable and it's because there's only 13 to 15 thousand left in the wild Jumping in here, it lives in Asia and Oceanica, uh, Australia, and Cambodia, India, Laos, People's, Dem People's Democratic Republic, M Me Myanmar, Nepal, Pakistan, and Vietnam. Live in aquatic and grassland areas, and one of them need free. 100 square meters of land and 75 square meters of border uh, extra need 15 extra land and nine extra water and a baby needs eight extra land and five extra water they live from minus 13 to 31 degrees celsius and uh, you need a grade one fence which is one and a half meter tall you can have a group from two to eighty uh, and that could be all males or all females that's what you decide there's no dominance but they are monogamous which means they're probably made for life um they are neutral about humans and humans can enter the habitat Boom boom down here. And grow the males grow up to 1.8 meters tall and the females 1.7. That would be around five feet tall, I think. Uh, and they live up to 40 years. They weigh from five to twelve kilos. Um that would be 10 to 24 pounds both males and females even though females are shorter they reach sexual maturity after four to five years and they can reproduce until they die they will give one or two offsprings if every, every year and they incubate their eggs for one month uh, they are pretty average to get to reproduce Wow, they had a lot of interspecies enrichments actually. Here we have the Indian elephant, Indian peafowl, Indian rhinos, koala, wild water buffalo, and red kangaroo. And if we go over look at the enrichments items here, uh, it's the same as the crane. So here, if you write crane, it will all pop up. Um, but it's the waterfall thingy, mirror thingy. <laughs> A sprinkler system and hoops and marga and then they have this um a forage pool uh, again same as the crane so why don't we take you to get a, a closer look i will mention two things first first of all i haven't noticed any difference between males and females uh, maybe there are, maybe there aren't, but I just haven't noticed. And the other thing I want to show you is the nose hole here. It is completely see-through. And I can't figure out just here, because you can see here, this part goes all the way over. Hmm, where do we go? Down there. there uh, if it's on purpose or not this might be something weird thing the animal actually have 
Uh, but if it is a mistake, it's actually a really funny mistake to make. So again, I don't research the animals before these videos because then I couldn't get so many of them out there. It takes time for me to research, especially because I have dyslexia. So reading is a real hard thing for me. I'm gonna start up here and actually it's not the red crown crane. It has feathers all the way up here. Uh, but it does look like it doesn't have feathers here. It's the same texture he here. If you notice the texture, it's feathery here and here, but not here. And when we take a look at the red crown crane, we had over here have this texture up here. Okay, it's not the complete same texture, but I'm pretty sure it was meant to be. It looks like it was meant to be. Uh, so therefore, actually, I think it doesn't have feathers on these red parts, which is kind of fun, uh, I think. Uh, I forgot to mention the rest of the beak here looks good. Here, the way it's mounted to the face looks great. Um, the coloration is great it have some shadowing and it it looks a bit like bone but th that wouldn't be weird for a beak at all down here we have something that looks like fur but we know it's feathers down here it actually looks really good and down here again it's not the best feathers we have seen but it is pretty much up there I won't talk too much about this part down here because it's a copy paste. I'm pretty sure. No, it's not. It's not a complete copy paste. Okay, we're gonna talk a bit more about that. I'm gonna take the red crown green up here and show you what I mean. Now you shouldn't go away right now. Here. Because when there are a copy paste, they have the same mistake as the original animals. And here you can see the feathers just end up out in the air here. Where this one doesn't seem to have. Oh, it was just a question of the angle. It's right there. Right there, pointing up. Oh. I almost thought it was. I I have no issue with copy pasting, but I would like that some of the mothers when they copy paste this particularly apart, because it's weird over here. Then they just added a few extra feathers up here to kind of cover this first part, so you wouldn't notice the difference between here and here. You can pretty much get an idea by doing this that this is just placed on top again same issue over here but otherwise beautiful creature uh, the texture of the legs it's the same as the red crown crane it's the same as the flamingo and most of the other mutts out there so I won't talk too much but I really like the color um, and I actually think colors are something that's hard for a lot of mothers, especially in the beginning, because these are pink, but are they salmon pink or are they reddish pink or are they orangey pink? What what are they? And I do believe that gamers only got the color code. You know, when we got something that's flexi colored. Do I have anything flexi colored in here? Nope. Ah, we have we have the fins, I think. Is that flexi color? Yeah. Then we only can you see that. No, you can't. So I'm just moving here. Then you can see here the scale we have with color. I don't. I do believe this is all mothers have to actually make a color, and some of the time they only put in numbers here uh, to get a color, and that is that is talent. That is raw talent if you can. I know some people who um, 
mostly people that have something uh, an ability i would say uh, you know one of these mental issues where you just some things you just focus on and learn and it's just stuck in your head uh, they, they, people like that can learn to just look at a color and press in the numbers uh, and go with it but a lot of the models i assume really use long time to find the right colors and i think this is really good really spot on so let's see it move it move it let's see it move it move it yeah if you want to move <coughs> yeah it have the animation from the red crown crane therefore it have the same animations um, <laughs> little running. It moves nice, and uh, there aren't anything. Oh, something pointed through here. Uh, but it wasn't anything wild or crazy or bad. So, yeah, it sticks a bit out there, but it's not bad at all. We did have a baby in here somewhere. Oh, what a rainbow. Yeah, you don't need to tell me in the comments. I can't sing. I am well aware of that. It, it is the crane baby and the flamingo baby just in another color. I'm pretty sure. Um, that doesn't make it cute though. But this nose aren't see-through. Boom. Locked off. It have a weird tongue. Again, that might be the animal, not the mud. I'm not sure. Tiny little chicken wings and then the feet here. We have this brownish color. So, oh, did I? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. So, let's see it move. Do you want to move? Yeah. Oh, it's so cute. Such a little cutie pie. Yeah. But the big question we have with all animals we get in the game is how do they swim? And it swim as it should. It's maybe a centimeter too high in the water. Would you please keep swimming? Uh, food um, maybe they are a centimeter too tall for the water but that's not the that's not bad at all um, that's actually pretty good so yeah we have a full-blown good mud here uh, did I mention where it was from it's from I'm just checking here because I need to be sure yeah it's from Bongo Hardwood uh, Amada, I have heard about before, but I don't think I actually t t took a close up of any of his mutts. Um, so it's yeah, it's it's really good, and uh, yeah, he doesn't need me to say it. I have seen Leaf talk about a lot of his mutts, and, and they are usually good mutts. So yeah. Good job, Bongo Hardwood. And uh, with that, I just want to tell you guys, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again. Either in the comments below or in the next video. Bye, guys.